Hey everybody, how you doing? I uh, have been camping here for about four, five, six days. Kind of lose track of the days. Snow Bowl, Arizona. It's in Flagstaff. And you can find it on freecampsites.net. But it is a beautiful place. And I'm going to show you a little bit of it. And uh, today, I have no neighbors. So they won't think I'm crazy talking into a video camera. But who cares if they do? Well, let me show you a little bit of this. I hope the wind's not too much. I'm right near this road over here. I had some neighbors over there for a few days. I moved out this morning. I slept in. I didn't even hear them leave. But there's really nobody here. So peaceful and quiet. I'm enjoying it. Got my solar over there charging up. I love that little thing. Let me tell you about how I ended up with this. I got a friend named Sue. She's from Canada. And I met her in Quartzsite. She has a little place in Mexico. She just put solar on her place. And didn't need this one anymore. I really couldn't have afforded it. But. I got a deal on it. And this little piece in the back charge controller. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little dark. There it is. That was bad. So I ordered the new one. But this setup right here at Solar Bills and Quartzsite was $500. And I paid $200 for this one. I believe. You know, I got that sometime, or sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. And my friend Mimi looked it up on eBay and got me that one right there for the price of $8, which she gave it to me for free. She's so awesome. She said, it's only $8. I'll just give it to you. So that was pretty awesome of her. So I do have $200 invested in this system, which has worked out so good on this trip. I've been to a lot of places this trip. And met a lot of awesome people along the way. But I want to show you something else too. This is my little kitchen area outside and if you guys have been watching my videos this is Mater. He's getting huge and I can't wait for a tomato. Hope it ain't too much longer. And the other day I decided I wanted to start some lettuce. So I cut a little milk jug and I planted some lettuce and this is the start of my boondocking farm next year it's gonna be better I'm gonna buy a shoe rack from uh, Walmart or something they got these things that hang up almost like a shower curtain but they got these little pockets for shoes and I'm going to fill peat moss or something in them little pockets so I can hang it up outside somewhere and I think that'll be really cool have my own traveling garden and it'll help on my diet I don't want to be a fat old man forever so which I'm doing good on I uh, started this diet when I reached like a pound or two of 400 pounds 
which is crazy. I used to walk the long distance hike trails and the Appalachian Trail and all that stuff and when my knee went bad it just wasn't good. So one day I decided no more being a fat old man. So I uh, started this diet which I do good some days and I do bad other days. The last time I weighed in, I was 340 pounds, I believe. That was a little while ago. So I'm hoping I'm getting close to the 300 pound mark. It's all a struggle, it's all a battle. But I thought this little garden I'm starting was pretty cool. And I wanted to share it with y'all. And I wanted to share this awesome boondocking spot that you can find. I know I sound like an advertisement for freecampsites.net. But every place I've found so far, I have found off of freecampsites.net. 14 day stay. Gotta love it. The only thing that I have... Well, I'm just learning. I'm not a long time boondocking an RV year. I've been out here since November of last year but it's hard to be anywhere for 14 days water uh, stuff like that dumping your gray water and black water which there's apps for that Just look online you find them one thing that I've uh, found is that when I want to find something, I just speak to my phone and I say whatever I want. I want a free dump site. It takes me to apps, websites where I can research it and do it. But You'll all learn that stuff as you go. Colorado had a lot more wildflowers. But it's really dry here. I see something over there. Somebody told me it was unprofessional to zoom in. And zoom out. But. Major announcement folks. I am not a professional. I'm just a 50 year old guy learning how to boondock, enjoy my life, see what I can see. So y'all have a wonderful day. And yeah, that's my ride right there. I've named her Dreamcatcher. I love her. She gets pretty good gas mileage. Got a V6. Rolls on down the road. And knock on wood, she carries me where I need to go. So y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you for watching. I want to thank all my new subscribers. Y'all awesome. I love uh, making little videos. Sharing. Maybe I'll have some information that you might need one day. Keep happy, keep free, and till the next time.